Just so you know, you were an egg once too. Morning, Chip. Morning, Jimmy. How are you? Kind of hungry. I'm gonna make something. You cooking? What are you cooking? Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna cook. All right. Let's see. Involves eggs. Bread, Wonder Bread, and some blue bonnet butter. Looks good to me. I don't know how I feel about the eggs. Just so you know, you were an egg once too. So it's pretty simple, guys. We need a pan, spatula. You want to, we're going to turn it on low heat in a minute. So before you do that, make sure your bread's good. It's not expired or anything like that. No green stuff growing in it. Always, always check your eggs. Make sure nothing's cracked. As you can see, I eat the H out of them. I love some eggs. And I got butter. You can use uh, grease, which I don't really recommend. You can use um, vegetable oil. And you can also use Pam if you like, but I'm trying to be natural with it. So, very simple. Very, very, very simple. Yeah, gonna be chick approved. All right, so, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn the oven on low. I'm gonna take butter, I'm gonna get a spoon. This is a basic spoon. Take butter. That's a lot of butter, by the way, guys. So I probably use too much. It works for me. I like my stuff soaked in butter. All right, I'm just gonna spread it around a little bit. And once it starts warming up, oh, look all that. Yeah, look all that. Yes. So once it starts warming up, it's gonna start melting. So, just so you guys know, I forgot to say it, I'm making what I call eggs in a basket. So, there's another name for them also too, eggs in a blanket. I'm sure there's other names for them too. So, while that's warming up, I'm gonna take my bread. I'm gonna take about two slices. What I want to do is rip a hole, and they do have objects where you can make a little circle and stuff. I'm just going to use my fingers, rip it open, make a little circle. Just like that. Right? Oh, that's almost like a heart. Just like that. And the rest of it I just eat. So that one's prepped. We're going to do another one. Just like that. You see our butter is starting to melt. Very nice, very nice. And it gives it a natural flavor, taste to it. Unless I ever did it, which I probably did, which is okay. And you don't want it to stick. So we got that. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm having a little smoke and stuff come up. So I'm gonna turn the fan on low to help pull some of that out. So a lot of that smoke and stuff is coming from cleaning chemicals to like grease when I fry burgers and stuff like that too. I actually pulled these apart once and cleaned the heck out of them. They were so bad. I actually caught this stuff on fire once. It was not fun, but so that's what, that's what we're doing now. So now I'm gonna turn up just a little bit myself 
little plate over there. And each one of these is going to get one egg. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy in. We want it to soak. Flip it over, let it soak. It's probably better to use something else. So now we got it soaked in butter. Not bad, right? Now I'm gonna take one egg, put it in the middle. Too simple, guys, too simple. That does look good. So also with these, you can actually have the yogi. So you have the yellow side up, all that fancy stuff. I always break it. I kind of spread it a little bit. And just let it cook. Now it's gonna get a little harder in there. I want it to stick, but also you don't want to pull it up yet too because you don't want it to fall apart. So you just got to wait. So I probably got to put more butter on it when I'm done. That's looking good. This is so simple to make. You can actually turn up the heat and make this really fast. But for video purposes and stuff, we're uh, gonna take our time with it. All right. So it's starting to look white down there. It's not fully done yet. Like I said, I probably should have turned it up. One almost like a solid white down there, where it almost matches the bread. So we got some runoff over here. So it's time to flip it. I like the little crisp taste to it too. And also this is a lot better if you put pepper on it. But at the moment I don't currently have. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and attempt. You flip. Boom, look at that. Look how, look how that looks. Soaked in the butter. Let it there for a little bit. Yeah, that's looking good, guys. So eggs are very important. Uh, they have a lot of protein. They're natural, and you know, especially if you have a farmer friend that raises eggs. Hook them up, catch up to them. Eggs are pretty cheap in the markets, uh, the stores and all that stuff too. Anywhere from like $1.50 to like $3, depending on the pack. I believe this pack is like $2 maybe. Uh, they are expensive, but a dime a dozen. We're gonna flip it. See, look at that. Looking good, right? Not bad, not bad. Yep, that's your eggs in the basket, guys. That's your eggs in the basket. Very simple to make, believe it or not. Kids and adults can enjoy them, love them too. So, and make sure you eat with your chicken friend so, you know, they don't get the wrong idea. So, I'm good with this one. Put it on your plate, and you're ready to munch. I see you're making two. Yep. One for me, 
Nope, I just like my protein. Aww. So, get your little plate. Just have a little fork. Some people like to put salt, pepper on it. I like to do a little pepper. Sometimes ketchup. Take a little bite of it. I'm a rebel. Oh yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, kiddies. Until next time. Thanks guys! Till next time!